Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4 Black Ice Mod. We left off last episode having uh, started production of, let's see if we can find them on our list here, um, Panzer II C's and the 109 variant A's, which I'm pretty stoked for, although we don't have enough uh, supplies at the moment. That's definitely something that is problematic for us, so I'm thinking it might be time to try to import some oil from... United States. Let's do that. Uh, three factories. There we go. Ooh, plopped right in there. Very nice. Supply map mode. And we should that should help with uh, some of our vehicle production, planes and tanks, because now we're not going to be running a deficit of oil. I mean, we're still short on rubber and tungsten, but at least we're not short on oil. Uh, we have some infantry divisions on the production queue here, although we are short a lot of equipment. Uh, let's see, transport trucks, anti-tank guns, liaison vehicles, HQ equipment, and a lot of basic artillery. And horse transport. But I rejig off screen, I rejiggered a little bit of this stuff. Um, just moved some, some things around. Not, not a big deal, really. Um, let's see here. What do we got working for planes? Got five here, two here. I believe we got five on tanks. Yep. Building one and a half tanks per week. God, it's got to be really hard. I feel like it's got to be really hard to get uh, equipment into the field, but that's probably a good thing. Going to make it more difficult to play the game. Uh, basic light artillery is definitely something we're really short on. Italy took Ethiopia. Down there. Not a big deal. The Spanish Civil War is going on. I don't know if I want to get involved in that or not. I can't get involved in it right now because I'm not allowed to send troops over because I haven't deployed anybody, uh, any new troops. I need to have 70 divisions in the field. I don't have 70 divisions in the field. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have a little bit of uh, more industry, a little bit of steel and oil. It's only 15 steel and 2 oil, but it's better than nothing at the moment. It is better than nothing. An uh, early game is just going to be me trying to desperately trying to get my industry up and running. Uh, right now, we are building new civvy factories. And how fast did these build? November 6th, 1936. So, the end of the year, this will be done. Wow. We do not have very many factories. 20 are on consumer goods. We might need to change our laws. Uh, let's take a look into that. Limited conscription, limited exports, partial mobilization. So this was going to be, let's see, consumer good factories. We're on partial mobilization right now as it is. So world tension, so I, I, I can't go up on there. Yeah, I can't do that. Exports are unlimited. Uh, oof. Yeah, that's probably the best thing for me right now. And conscription is on limited as well. We don't need to go do any other uh, conscription ideas for a little while, I don't think. But we can start, um, let's see, theorists. Do we want to wait and save up a theorist? Uh, let's see, mobile warfare. Or, so yeah, why don't we, why don't we uh, wait and get a theorist in ASAP? We'll save up that 250. That'll give us a steady ticking experience that we can use um, to create variants or change our, our plans out. Getting enough equipment into the field is definitely something I'm worried about because we barely have any factories. 1936 industrial effort finished. So what are we? What are we gonna do? Go after that? We can't onslaught yet. So 1937, can't, yeah, can't do that. So that's going to add, that starts adding in particular, like, civvy factories and whatnot. Uh, forts, infrastructure. We already got the small arms bonus. We did that. Fair mocked. Um, ten, two times two, 10% research on land doctrine. England, befriend China. We could do befriend China or Japan. Hmm. Do we want to say befriend Japan? We are going. We are going to go historical here. Hmm. 
Um, I'm going to uh, do the the autobahn here because that is going to be important uh, later on in the game, getting the infrastructure up. And if I don't have to personally build it myself, that's that's fa free factories basically. Medium artillery. Let's take one off of there. I mean, let's see. Uh, horse artillery transport. Something we need. We need these. We need. You could easily see the stuff we need. And I'm I, I'm just struggling to get civvy factories built right now. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Artillery workshop finished. Should be a couple of truck workshop, tank workshop, so I can build those now. Evidence of the corruption inherited in the system. Help, help! I'm being repressed. So bomber work, we could do bomb. Let's see. Let's look through here. Dockyards, dockyard construction speed. Prefabrication. So, is, can we do both or one? Digging, digging speed and transfer bonus. Uh, that's for defenses. Not too terribly concerned about that just at the moment. Uh, that's kind of a. I don't want to. Don't want to go there just yet. And those, I think, we can leave off for now. Let's see. Where do we want to go? Infantry. There's not much for us to do in here. It's just, there's so much to do now. So much to do. Pre-war motorcycle recon. Cavalry recon. Recon company. Flamethrower squad. Generic armor. I don't think there's much to do in here just yet. Did they leave off a digit in here? 1936, 1939, 1940? Oh, no. Yeah, I think it's just being covered up by this line right here. Just a little, not a big deal. Just little tiny things that need, to get, need some work. Engineering time. Uh, reinforce rate 5%. Yep. Gonna do that. Okay. So, I think... Panzer A. Let, let's 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 compare the Panzer three and the Panzer four right now. So defense the same, hardness the same, heart attack the same, max speed the same, piercing the same, build cost the same, breakthrough the same, soft attack the same, heart attack or air attack. Uh, where's air attack? Air attack 2. I don't see it on here. Maybe it's maybe the this one doesn't have any sort of air attack. Armor 60. Armor 60, or I might just be missing her. Liability is the same. Manpower is the same. Recovery rate's the same. Supply is the same. HP is the same. Build cost is the same. Training time. Soft attack is a little bit higher on the four. That's it. They're basically the same. Although, terrain looks a little urban. Okay, so it looks like terrain is where we're looking at something different. Because uh, Fort, uh, minus 6%. Fort plus plus two percent so it looks like a um, little bit better in urban environments um, against uh, forts things like that a little bit better in the open uh, I'm gonna go with I mean I don't have to exclusively go one or the other uh, I'm gonna do the three and then I'm gonna go to planes and I am going to unlock the um, Heinkel 111. All right, so oh, uh, oh, this is the next uh, wave, the next Vele, Wele, Vele, Wele, Wele, Willy, the next Willy. Create them. Boop. Uh, yes, we are going to create the new, the new Willies. 
So you... That's these guys here. So why don't we start grabbing the new infantry divisions, or any other infantry divisions, and getting them organized. Uh, that is six divisions, seven divisions, eight, nine, that's ten divisions right there. I mean, I feel like adding in one of these just for flavor. Or it doesn't look like you can. Or is it? Oh, there we go. Leva. 13. Alright, let's create a new army corps. Well, army, whatever. Second army. Um, let's go... Skill level... Uh, I don't want to get the armored guys in there just yet. Maximilian von Weichs? Yeah, there you go, Max. And what we're going to do is go front line and just give you some of Poland to work with here. Wow, he could really cover a lot of Poland if he chooses to. I mean, one army could probably do all of Poland right here. Um, let's give him, like, half right now. Move on over this way. There they go. And these guys are all pretty experienced, yeah. I mean, these guys don't really do anything, the HQs, but, I mean, they're, they're just in there for flavor at the moment. I like a little bit of flavor in my games. I don't mind the flavor. Almost at 250 here, so we can get our theorist in early. God, we're, we're building one city factory at a time. There's so few factories. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention. We actually went over it. So, theorist. Uh, we could do close air support. That's air air experience. Uh, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking ground, either ground or air, not navy. Uh, army experience gain, mobile war warfare doctrine. Uh, let's do that. Let's get him in there. I definitely think uh, land is going to be our thing. And what are we researching? Anything interesting? That's ooh, there's four more divisions. Uh, looks like Delay Doctrine's coming up. Mechanical Computing Machine. Alright, so... The new ones. That's new. That's new. That's new. And... It looks like it popped in over here. So we're going to attach you to these guys. Well, that works out perfectly. Uh, make sure you go to this plan here. We could easily... Probably... Well, let's give it, like, let's give him a little bit more room, and then maybe a smaller army over here. Delay Doctrine finished. I feel like we should, we should definitely go be going down the Doctrines here. Yes, let's do that. Or do we want to go back into industry? I mean, this is... Production efficiency cap. Repair speed efficiency cap. Should probably start building some of these, too. Factory output, max factories in state, bomb vulnerability, recruitable population, minus 1%. That's interesting. That's in there. Definitely interesting. We're gonna do some air doctrine. Almost. Well, uh, let's see. Let's let's make sure that we're we're keeping up to date on our planes. Uh, and th this leads to different bus. Yeah, yeah. You do have to do this to get to different bombers, or we could just say straight up. Oh, what is this over here? A biplane torpedo bomber. Use of the graphs. Oh, okay. That would go on a carrier. Wow, this goes down really far. It keeps going, it's just there's nothing down there. I'm sure it's for later. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's get that going. Uh, and Reich Autobahn. That's coming. 
Let's grab our mobile units and get them in an army together. And we're going to put... Rommel in charge. And we're just going to set you guys up right in here for now. Bring these tanks over to Poland. Uh, how is our production going? So, one division's about to deploy. It's still missing basic HQ equipment and I tank guns. God damn it. Basic HQ equipment and an those anti-tank guns are not getting done. It's just like, I don't want to tell them to stop building some things in, in, in preference for some other things, but we got to get these, we got to get things at least a little bit done, you know, you know going. One factory building HQ equipment. Again, I, I keep thinking just typewriter. I'm, I'm assuming radios, typewriters... Enig I see an Enigma machine in there. That should help. And I think these will get uh, training. Yeah, they won't go any further than that until they get the equipment they need. But those, everybody will start getting the equipment they need now. Although I could just force re I, I could just force them to deploy. I think. So we did the right shuttle bond. Uh, forts, uh, that don't necessarily think we need to do that just yet. Uh, Luftwaffe, air experience, battlefield support, adds air bases. What does this get me? Not a journey, not a public, or really part of communism, not a faction. Gains amp anti communist Singatory, world tension goes up. Poland, Estonia, Latvia, and eight others gets anti comm turn back. Okay. We can Anschluss, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get Austria. Uh, so the the Vels. I'm gonna choose to call them that Vels. Vele. Vele. Well, I'm almost positive that with German words, the E on the end is pronounced all the time. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Let's see. Production efficiency cap. Super important. Efficient production. Which actually reminds me. Uh, we can't put these in yet. Basic truck factory. I thought we had that researched already. Huh. Um, let's take another look in here. Nope. So I think the workshops... You just get the you just get that that bonus, the factories you have to build, I'm assuming. I think, so Austria should give us uh, some nice factories and a couple units. I mean we've we've, the thing about uh. Hoi is that Hoi four that mean that is, you can blast through the early stages of the conflict super fast because of how, uh, you know, efficient the, uh, the back engine of the game is here. Just really go through it. Alright, mechanical computing machine. That's research time, I believe. Yep. Alrighty. Hmm. So this stuff, uh, I don't need to do anything there for a while. I could do better support battalions. Generic armor, armored car three. And I don't think we're really using that. Um, well, let's see. Liaison vehicle. What would be the benefit of improving those? Initiative 2%, so more reliable and a higher max speed. And let's see, a transport half track. Uh, hardness goes up, reliability goes up, max speed goes up. Interesting. Okay, so I don't. I mean, we're not really using tankettes, not at the moment, at least. So I don't think that's that's terribly necessary. It's all too far advanced for me just yet. Still getting used to this whole thing. 
Kriegs. <laughs> Pulling up the Kriegs Marine list and seeing it empty is a little sad. Uh, we're working on um, dive bombers, level bombers. Uh, we could actually grab the C, the C variant of the 109. Let's see. Operational range is much higher. Air superiority, close air support, interception, naval strike. So these are the missions that it can do, listed. So this is basically an all-around variant. This is very much a fighter only. Higher range, much higher air attack. Let's see. Reliability is higher. Build cost is higher. Max speed is higher. Agility is higher. Air defense is higher. It's, it's, it's basically a much better fighter. So why don't we get that research too? And we'll just replace the, a, the A's with the C's. The A's are very much more versatile. The C's are very much more fighter-based. They are fighters. Oh, and we have 150 power points to spend. I'm not really doing anything crazy with the... Uh, I'm trying to trying to go historical, so I'm just letting the game play itself out in terms of, like, geopolitics. Artillery research time. Aircraft. Aircraft? Yeah. Tank designer. Uh, let's see. Armor, hard attack, max speed, reliability. Reliability, soft attack. Hmm. I love that reliability. Reliability, 10 plus 10 percent. Yeah, we're gonna go Henschel on that. We are going Henschel. And let's, um, let's start with a battle plan for Poland here. We'll just lay this out. Um, nothing crazy, but it's basically just going to be fight up to, up, up to the, um, uh, uh, that river there. Oh, God. I'm completely blanking on the name of that river. I know, it's on, like, the tip of my brain. Oh, my God, I'm embarrassing myself now. Super embarrassing myself. Okay, so that's done. We're working on that. Already, already, already. Let's do the bomber workshop. Get that out of the way. And what we're going to do is go to production. We are going to replace... Sorry, let's, uh, let's replace the donor 23 here with the Heinkel 111. I mean, we are building these, and we got the factory fully tooled up, so we can keep going on that for a while, or just completely retool for the C model when it comes available. Grant, gain a tank factory. Okay. Um, that's probably a, I'm pretty sure that's like a fit. This is a, this is, this is a filler event. And there would be an actual reason behind that at some point. In the game. So we just gained a tank factory. We're building a little less than one per day. And the new Panzer II Cs are being used to upgrade my existing Panzer divisions. I mean, I don't know if they've actually filtered in at all yet. That's motorized, that's tank right there. Uh, 27 of them, yeah. And it still uses Panzer Ones, which we're not even building anymore, so we could pro- Eventually we're gonna wanna pretty much just take those out. So that they're not stuck trying to use them. <laughs> they almost got what they need. What do we look? Our uh, basic light artillery and towed anti-tank guns. We have a free dockyard, so something must have finished. Uh, no, what we want to do is let's look at other ships. All right, some subs are on here. Screens. Capital ships. Uh... So you can only put up to four dockyards on a ship, it looks like. You can't put, like, 15 dockyards working on a single ship. So we're going to get that, uh, Admiral Hipper out of the way. 
And what we're going to do is take these guys. Uh, they're going to get... This is just a very basic planet as, as it stands. And East Prussia, you're going to have your own army. We're going to have to get more troops over here into East Prussia. All right, you need a leader. But we are building uh, more units right now, so shouldn't be trouble. Uh, shouldn't be trouble to get units over there. Uh, Anschluss. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? The Anschluss of Austria. Woo! Uh, after a successful coup d'état by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported. German soldiers greeted by cheering crowds in the cities. In a speech before a massive crowd at the Heidenplatz. Heldenplatz? Heldenplatz seems right. In Vienna, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria, annexing the country into Germany. Alright. So, uh, we gained a good deal of units here. That makes me happy. And factories, we gained one? No, no, there it was. It just jumped up. Okay. Uh, mountain equipment. So we need to increase mountain equipment. We have free military factories, and uh, we can modify our government. Uh, ship designer, aircraft designer. So we have Messerschmitt, Junkers, Fachwolf, uh, Heinkel, and Doner. I'm a uh, do Dor Dor Dorner. Dornier? God damn it. Uh, again, it's, I, it's one of those words that, it, you know, you know, I never specifically went out to figure out, you know, you know, looked it up to figure out what the correct pronunciation was, and for years I've had my own internal pronunciation that I've used in my head. Um, let's see. Light aircraft designer, medium aircraft. That is going to be agility, max speed for fighters, ground attack, and reliability for close air support. Uh, reliability. Huge reliability for heavy fighters and tactical bombers. Ooh, I like that. Uh, air research time strategic bombing bomber or naval um so easily uh Messerschmitt Junkers or Fokowolf um Fokowolf Fokowolf Folk I'm gonna go with Folk uh reliability I'm gonna go with Messerschmitt Messerschmitt we're gonna do that so we just did the Anschluss of Austria uh let's on uh, keep a pause for a second research eastern claims uh Memel, Danzig, Poznan, Lithuanian Gains, Germany demands Memel. Do we want to go that far just yet? Ooh, 1937 industrial focus. Civilian factories, do that first. God damn it, do I need factories. Alrighty, and um, let's look to see like what we're in the what we're most hard up for in terms of equipment before we leave here. And that is artillery. Support equipment. Anti-tank guns and transport vehicles. Basic light artillery. Okay, so we're gonna go here. What's going on? Game just froze up on me for a second there. Alright, so, um... Oh... Anti-tank guns. Heavy truck. Basic light artillery. Oh, basic light artillery is a big one. Although we just used up all of our... All, all, all of our free factories. We do have some more uh, small ones, though. That's good. Small ones? What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, civilian, that's the word I'm looking for. Civilian factories. Okay, good. All right, we're going to have to leave this right here. Do, we'll do some management of these new troops when uh, when we come back. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. Uh, I would also love it, love it, love it if you guys took a look in the description and clicked on the link that said Patreon. Uh, if you just go to my Patreon page and consider donating one or two dollars to the cause to help me making help me make this my full time job, uh, literally just a dollar or two goes a long way. So thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.